What's up? Welcome to Backend Stuff. I'm Jacob Blitzo. Today we are shifting our focus and testing our read function, which is also our git function in our accounts context file, which has our CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. We've already established the use of factories in our testing process in our previous video. These factories are key to giving us data we need for our tests. When dealing with database tables, it's important to remember we always work with two kinds of data, valid and invalid. As our apps get bigger, having one main place for setup data is a great help. It simplifies our testing, and if we need to tweak a schema definition, this is usually the only place we need to adjust. Continuing from our last video, we'll stick with the factory we've built instead of starting from scratch. We'll use this alongside the Ex Machina library, which really helps in creating test data and associations and works well with Ecto. So let's get started. Let's open up our project, the Real Deal API. If you haven't been following along on this project, you can find the GitHub repo in the description below. Let's go ahead and open back up our accounts test.exs file. And we're going to go right underneath our create account describe block. So right here, and we're going to now test our Git account. And if we go into our accounts context file, so we we wrote tests for create in the last video, and now we want to write tests for our Git account by ID. So we're gonna write a test for this one today. And one thing to know that's important is we get a raised ecto.no results error if the ID doesn't exist. So it, we don't get a nil or anything else. We get a raised error. And this is going to be important when we write the, the test that is going to be testing our no results error. Let's go ahead and get back into our accounts test file and let's make a new describe block. So describe and then quotations get underscore account. And this is arity of one because it just takes an ID. And then we're gonna do a do end. Our first test is going to be a success case and it returns an account when given a valid UUID and then do an end. So this is pretty straightforward. We know what we're doing. Um, the very first thing we need to do is we need to use our factory and insert an account into our table because every test that gets called, we're starting from scratch with an empty database. So let's call this account existing, existing underscore account, and we can just call our factory here. And now instead of using what we did up here, strings params for, where it just returned the account struct for us, we can actually insert straight into our database using our factory. So we can do insert and then pass in our atom account. And the colon account calls our account underscore factory function in our factory file. So there we go. This directly inserts our account right into the database. And one of many of the many, blah, blah, blah. so one of the many benefits of using factory is that it provides an easy and consistent way to insert data into the database. But it's also important to know that since we aren't using our own insert code, it's not going through our change set. So if our data isn't being stored in a valid manner, we have to adjust the code in our factory. Um, but in our case, it's already set up and everything is the way it's supposed to be. But just keep that in mind. If you're doing validations and altering data in your change set, you have to think about that. One important thing to know is our password will not be hashed. It'll be the readable password that we're inserting. So that's one thing to think about. But for this test, it's not going to matter. So now what we wanna do is is use our get account function and just assert that we have it. So we can do an assert test here, and this is going to be the returned account. And now we're just calling our accounts context file. So accounts dot, and then we wanna do get account. Now we just have to pass in the ID from our existing account up above. So existing account dot ID, 
And this will be true as long as we don't get a raised error, right? So if our account doesn't exist, which it does, we just inserted it. Um, but if it doesn't exist, this test will not pass. And then we can do another assertion test. And we're going to make sure that our returned account equals the existing account that we created. So we want to make sure the account our factory just created matches our existing account and then let's save it and let's open up our terminal and we need a cd into our project mine is in documents development bs and then real deal api and we can just run mix test here and we should make sure our database is running i don't even have docker open right now all right so open up docker and let's make sure our database is running okay so press start if it is not running and then we are good to go all right let's run our mix test again and now we have 12 passing tests our get account function is working as expected okay so now we need to we want to stay inside our describe block but now we need to have our error case so we're going to follow the same pattern we did in the last video so we're going to write another test and this time we're expecting an error and it is going to this raises uh, ecto no results uh, no results error when an account doesn't exist all right and this is really easy and what we're going to do is we're not going to use assert this time. We're going to use assert underscore raise. So we're making sure that this ecto dot no results error is actually getting called. And then we're going to use an anonymous function here. So function, all right. And then all we're gonna do is return down and now we can just do accounts dot get account. And we don't want to use an ID that is in our tests, right? So we can just use ecto dot UUID and we can use auto generate and this will automatically generate a random UUID and then close off the parentheses uh, to get account. And now if we save it, we should have another passing test because that object obviously doesn't exist so we're raising an error and now we should have 13 passing tests there we go so that's pretty awesome all right so for your challenge i'd like you to create a test for our users dot ex context file for the get user function using what we learned today i also want you to write more tests for our get account by email we're going to come we're going to circle back around for the get full account because we are preloading a user here so there is going to be a little bit more work but if you can write a test for get account by email you can use the same everything that you learned here today and uh yeah so write that test and that's how you test a read function so as always if you need help or want to check out the solutions, check out that GitHub link in the description. And if you have more questions or just want to hang out and chat, join my Discord server back end stuff. That link is in the description as well. If you want to learn how to build scalable production ready APIs, hit that subscribe button now. See you next time.